Do you remember our Build a Nation series, FM23 editor? Here's a quick reminder edit. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Let's pick something up here. Last time, when we wasn't in for advanced rules and we did basic, it was fine. So now it's picked something up. New stage three for UEFA Europa League. Couldn't, can't find enough teams to be created. 11 teams found, 32 needed. That is very weird, considering we have not even changed anything along that line. And as you can see, we got stuck. Kept on getting an error. And what I wanted to do in today's video is see if we can upload FM23 editor file into FM24 pregame editor. See what we need to fix to get it updated because I know that some things are going to be out synced through obviously database changes. I'm going to dive straight into it. I'm going to load it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight back to where we was, where we was getting that error run for verification and see if it comes up with the same error. Let's have a look. We have the editor open and I'm just going to load editor data. I'm going to go to sports interactive, find editor 23. Nope, it's not in that one. It's going to be in the main file and then it's going to be now I had it in two places. It was, was it in games then editor data? No. I think I fixed it. If we go to edit data, ah, oh, here they all are. But sometimes if you reinstall the game, you've installed the game and then you reinstall it, that document files stay. It's a case that you like go into for first editor data file and it's empty. Look for games, look for editor data and they're there. I think what I did is I moved them back. And plus, or it could be a case of a location for game itself is looking for it. And when you go into a game, you're like, well, where's my files? Where, how can I choose them? If this is the case, go look at your documents and just move them and hopefully it will trigger the game to find them. So my game location will be in editor data. So that will mean when I do a FM24, we will have to save it in that FM24 editor That's document location so that FM24 can find. So we was on 3.31. Uh, I was on two. So I did further advancements on the database but we we're still getting that rule so my last one with you was 3.2 3.1 was our error of advanced rules and as you can see i was trying different things out here doing a test 3.3 then test so what i'm going to do is pick up from 3.2 we'll work our way backwards i have no records of these ones i only have the video of this one and i can't remember what i did in it might have a jotted down piece of paper somewhere of uh, what i was actioning i'll have to uh, see if i can find it let's load up 3.2 this file was last saved from an older database some database changes or custom competitions may fail with a new database that is fine so it's still got 15,000 changes in there now i have looked at this before i just wanted to quickly see what potentially things that I might have to change in terms of database. So if we go to people, then remember we've only the 65,000 database. We've only pulled a thousand of that. So we can change that in a minute. Let's put our conditions first. If we put a not nation, be city of birth, city of birth, region of birth. I think it's that one, isn't it? I'll press enter by accident. London, that's a region filtered. And then if we go maximum records unlimited by filter, and that should be more than a thousand. Just takes a little bit more time. That's why it's good to have that filter on. But as you can see, if we look at the England nation, we got some London and we got some England. So those England ones, uh, if we go for him, for instance, that 18 year old personal data information details, where would it be? There you go. Yeah, region of birth, nation of birth, London, London, but England nation. So we would need to change that. Just as a simple example of where there's been database changes and we need to update it. That's fine because the database update is based on the unique IDs. And that's it. Okay, so let's go straight into it. I'm nervous because I want it to work. I don't think Sports Interactive have fixed or done that much with the editor. Apart from some, obviously, add advanced rules features, which we are yet to experiment with or even make a video. I will do. I really want to try them out. But this is bugging me. The Builder Nation, because we've built a nation, we've got competitions running, we showed that in the last series that we did. And I want to continue. I want to be able to do Builder Nation, but tweak the advanced rules. Or what's the point? Or it won't be 
unique. So let's do it. Nerves are there, but let's do it. Right. So we got our divisions in there and you've got your nations. Now, if we don't touch anything and we go just test rules and we go all, what error are we going to get? Is it going to be the Europa League error or will it run through? Thing is, the way it is now, we verified this. We've played the game. Oh, well, we've simulated five seasons. It's gone through. It verified opening advanced rules. Oh, I haven't tried this. I was thinking about doing it for background without a video. I mean, I, I went and checked the database where I'd need to make changes. But I haven't done this yet. Oh, this is breaking news. Okay, we're going to continue. As I always say, changes step by step. Let's go to Division 1. And let's make a really simple change. Maybe just league settings here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Prize money. Here we go. Okay. How many teams have we got in this? Four rounds. How many teams do we have? We're gone. We're gone. Oh, I'm so bad. Nine. Nine teams. Okay. So we need nine prize money positions. Let's do prize money. Add. Oh, I've lost count. Five, six, seven, nine. And it has to be zero, one, two three four five you can't do shift back because it then picks up steam really annoying seven eight there we go nine. Oh, what are we gonna do what are we gonna do do we need to look at what premiership is what's a fair amount of money to give to if you win our league in london i'm thinking and we know that we had a issue with coefficients just virtually for whole league eventually over for five or ten seasons i did nearly every single position got into Europe. So something's not right there. And I think that's because of the way my A is set up. Too high of importance, maybe. And I need to downgrade it. Maybe downgrade the reputation of the nation. I don't know. We, we can play with things like that. This is something that we need to check. I'm going to do this. And I think I'm going to add in maybe subs and another rule. We'll, we'll do three things. Let's say, just for the sake of it, 50 million. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, let me add these in. I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've done it as a decline of 5. So 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15. That's a big difference. You come bottom, you only get 10 million. If you win it, you get 50. I think you should reward if you win it. I think that should be rewarded. Maybe I need to make it tighter. Maybe go 48, 45. But then that's, that's just quite tight. And then in the league below, maybe 10 or 9 again, I could do million. So 10, 9, 8, maybe something like that. Who knows? It could affect teams. It could affect teams who are always coming down the bottom, just not getting much money. And this is just building up. But we want them to be competitive to win Europe, right? I will have a look at Premiership, La Liga, Serie A and see how they've kind of got it as well. Maybe Scotland. Scotland's a smaller nation. Maybe see what they've got as prize nations. I'll collate for numbers. We will fix it. But I think this is fine at the moment. This shouldn't break anything in terms of Europa League or Champions League, right? It shouldn't break it. And that's why I just couldn't work out why we was getting that error. And then you can do prize money each win. Nah, we won't do that. Okay, so for simple one, I guess is pints, pints, points for a win, points for a draw, and no points for a loss. And then we will do the subs, which is five from seven in three stops. Plus one extra time. I think that's quite standard, isn't it? That is for standard. I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to say you can have 10 on the bench and do five from 10 in three stops plus one extra time. We're going to go like that just to be a little bit different. And we do that in Father League as well. So saying that, let's go to Division 2 now. And we will change big settings just on that one nothing on here so let's go to top points i win or draw three and one fixed all is fine substitution rules oh there you go use highest division rules he's in let's keep that on i mean you can do different but we're it's the same organization right whereas in premiership you've got the premier league and then you've got the efl so they might have different rules of competitions, which I think they do. Oh, we need to put a cup in as well. I think that's going to be my next stage because we haven't done a cup into our Builder Nation series. But this is great that we don't have to build it all again and it's going to run fine. I hope. Prize money. Oh, how many teams? Eight in this one. Okay. 
back down to here. Let's add in prize money. I'm going to add it in and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so that's how our second division prize fund looks like. 10 to 3 million. You've got to think that we've got some League 2 teams in here. Did we put in National League? I think we wanted it to remain professional and keep any semi-professional teams within the England nation. I think eventually maybe we will go down and build in like a national league as such and have like for lower divisions uh, within the regions, Ealing, Hamwell Town or things like that in, into our structure, which will be good. But again, we're just building blocks. Let's get the core done, set up, and then we can build on it because we've got to in youth leagues as well because we haven't done that. So yeah, so I think it's League 2 that we went down to. Now, I don't know what League 2 teams get, but I'm pretty sure... Even if you win League 2, you probably don't get that much. So we've made those changes. What we are going to do, we are going to say, oh, we need to save it as this time because we want it to go into 24. So let's go to Sports Interactive FM 24. Now I just want to double check there's nothing in there yet. Nothing in that one. That's good. So the game should find it in this one. Brilliant. And we are going to call this build a nation FM. We call it FM 24, not five, not yet. And this will be, this is version one for us now. And say no division levels have been verified. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do that now. Test rules. Oh, come on. Don't give me a random error. The last editor was so annoying. Have they fixed it? We've run it without changing any advanced rules. We've made a few changes. It doesn't, shouldn't it affect anything apart from the structure information. It looks like it's running. Yes, there we go. Two or two divisions level verified. So that must mean if we save again, you have to save for verification of it. Now we're going to jump into a game. Give me one sec. All right, here we go. As you can see, there's me and our Scarborough Athletic save for unknown to icon series it's going really really well you know what i'm not gonna say anything i don't jinx anything but it's going better than i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be a real tassel challenge but yeah then all right i think we found a good tactic maybe maybe with the patches coming out i might have to tweak it which i hate doing but who knows right anyway uh, start a new game for real i like showing you all this just in case something missed plus this is the first time i'm doing it football manager 24 loading up at editor they i want to know where i can change this bit because obviously we've uploaded for flags and things like that into for editor files but into these bits need to learn that one be a good one to do but again that's just tidying it all up once it's like a final where i can release it to for well it'd just be nice to tidy up things like that so i will look into that so there you go, we've got that one ticked anyway, so that's good. Confirm, choose game mode. Yes, still all those database tweaks that we need to make from going from FM23 to FM24, but we will do that. Advanced setup, we need to make sure that we choose a nation. Now I'm wondering if it's going to pick it up, because I don't know if we did something in notes before. Oh no, it's got London, amazing. Okay, so it's remembered all of that. That's it, playable, amazing. We are good, a yeah, large database. Yeah, not worried about all that. Uh, normally have that off. What I normally take when I play a game, unless I need to cheat. But if I cheat, I tell you that I'm cheating. Normally it's to simulate tactics. To me, that's researching, not cheating. Or you might want to do simulate the years, right? I mean, we simulate editor games so well it's all loaded up well just a, a recap of the divisions in division one we've got arsenal Brentford, brentford chelsea palace fulham millwall qpr top and west ham and then in london division two we have wimbledon barnet bromley Charlton, dan redbridge dulwich hamlet Leighton orient and sutton so start unemployed i will play once we've got it all done i will probably play a proper save on this all right, here we go. So we are in the game. See if those changes are in there. Who is in their national team? Any changes from last time? Ryan Sessegnon. It's not English team, to be fair. Considering they're all just based in London. Now, another reminder, Harry Kane's not in there. Anyone who's from London but was eligible for England or through caps, we haven't changed their allegiance. I mean, I could have to get Kane into our London team. I think it's fair. If they haven't got allegiance to a nation... They have every right to be called up to a London team. And I've just noticed the London flag's not pulling through because it's a different logo location for FM24 to try and find it. So I need to move that across. Noted. I will do that for the next one. In the background, I will make tweaks to the database. And if I see something odd or that you need to know, I will let you know. Again, reminder, if you have not seen a Builder Nation series and you're catching this again, wait a minute, what have I missed? I will put up a link in the corner. Click on that. It will take you all the way back to the playlist. 
and then I will carry on the playlist for this as well so that you can just carry on watching it. But yes, we are transitioning from FM23 to FM24 while we do the series. And Advanced Rules works, I'm very excited. So let's just quickly have a look then. Let's get back to London. Ooh, overview, here we go. Top players, major clubs, where's divisions? Here we go. And rules, amazing. Doesn't give me for prize breakdown here, does it here? No, I thought it might give it in for rules. Here it is. Oh, okay, so it's just breaking it down from those 50 to 9, 10 million. It's in there, good. And then points for a win, three. Points for draw, one. 32 games, they play each other four times. And where's our subs? Five subs can be used in three stoppages from a maximum of 10 named Vegas for other changes as well. Just quickly go into division two points, uses substitute rules from highest of the two divisions. And there's our prize money, which is, doesn't break it down. It's like three million, three million. I said, did I like that? Promoted to division one, promoted to division one. I get that. But where's, yeah, for prize money hasn't quite gone through right now. Bit odd. Don't know why. Yeah. I mean, Premier League. Can that come up with, can we see anything here? No. Okay, so maybe what I need to do is load up a game with a Premiership and just see what breakdown they've got. Top two teams win promotion to Division 1. Now, I don't know if that's classified as champions. Maybe it's because it's gone into advanced rules. It's not taken for basic rules of, because we didn't do any rules as such. So it was building basic rules, like for points, substitutes. It was doing that all for us already. I think we need to go through it all, select what we need, and maybe it will just put things in place as we select it. Because obviously, we have not selected anything really. And if we look at fixtures, if we look at schedule list, I mean, you've got some matches there, but you can put in a specific schedule. I don't know if I want to mess with that too much. Maybe, maybe I can stretch it out. I mean, there's not many matches, is there? We will see. We'll have to have a think about that for our next videos because we can do advanced rules, which is amazing. I'm now, now that I've done it, I was a bit nervous to do it because I thought I oh, did all this build a nation stuff and we can't advance. We can now. So hit a like on that video just for the fact that we've progressing. And if you'd like to continue watching the series, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you on for the next one.